All right, welcome everyone. In today's video, I'm going to be focusing on those of you that are aged 64 or over and your social security monthly checks, as well as what you need to know as things are changing very, very rapidly. That's the focus of this video. Let's get into it and talk through the details. All right, now first off, if you've been watching the videos here on the channel for a while now, you know that there are a ton of bills, packages, proposals, plans, concepts, ideas, and the list goes on and on for all kinds of changes they want to implement to Social Security, to raise benefits, to raise taxes, to change the COLA. Again, the list goes on and on. It is a very long list. And believe it or not, there's more and more of these proposals and plans that pop up literally on a weekly basis. There's a bunch of them out there I haven't even shared with you in other videos. But the point is, there's a lot of questions that I also get down below in the comment section from many of you here in the community that ask questions along the lines of, hey, I'm 62 and I get retirement. What about me? I'm 76 and I get retirement benefits. What about me? I'm 61 and get SSDI. What about my benefit? What about SSI beneficiaries? Again, I get tons of questions about this, but in this video right here, I want to specifically focus on those of you, again, aged 64 or over because Believe it or not, the parameters around those people aged 64 or over are very different than those people aged under 64. Kind of makes sense? Yeah, exactly. Well, what I wanna clarify for you because I wanna focus on your monthly check-in at the end of the day, is your social security benefit uh, important right now? Yeah, <laughs> right? <laughs> this isn't a trick question. Obviously, we know the details behind that. Yes, your benefits are very, very vitally important, and therefore, I wanna bring this to your attention. However, before we get into it, can I ask a huge, huge favor of you? If you have not done so yet, will you make sure to subscribe to the channel right down below the video? There's the big subscribe button down there. Make sure to hit that if you have not done so yet. It's 100% free to do so, always has been, always will be, and if you don't mind as well, down below uh, next to the subscribe button is a share button as well. Make sure to share this with your friends having social media so they can also be very aware what's going on here. Again, massive changes out there being proposed to Social Security. And as I said before in other videos, we want them to change Social Security. In fact, if they do not reform the program, that's going to cut benefits alone. So we see a lot of these people coming out saying, oh, if they uh, reform Social Security, if they change Social Security, they're going to cut benefits. Guess what? In action, doing nothing to Social Security is also a cut to benefits because that's what's happening. They're running out of money. They've got to do something fast here, right? Anyway, I want to be here for you no matter what. Again, please subscribe down below if you haven't done so. Truly do appreciate your support. I really appreciate literally every single one of you here in the community. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, let's get into the details. All right, so if you are 64 or over, you were primarily born in probably around 1960 or before, right? Again, give or take a little bit. Maybe your birthday's coming up. Um, but either way, around that 1960 or earlier time frame. okay, this is what it comes down to. Now, we've heard a ton of proposals. In fact, as of recently, they are bringing back this whole idea of raising the age in which you can get your full retirement benefit from Social Security, okay? Now, again, remember, right now is the age of 67. So basically, anybody that's born in 1960 or later has a full retirement age or a full benefit age, as I like to call it, of the age of 67. In other words, you have a reduction to your benefit uh, for any month that you claim your benefit prior to the age of 67. But anytime at the age of 67 or after, you get your full primary benefit there and um, you know what you've worked so hard for your entire life, okay? So as a result of that, now we see some of these, uh, these, some of these calls coming out saying, oh, we should raise the full retirement age up to the age of 68, 69, and 70, okay? All of these three numbers are out there and a lot of people are talking about them. Well, here's the thing. I've said this before and I still stand behind this. I do think they will raise the full retirement age. Why? Why do I think that they would raise the full retirement age? Because we're living longer. Let's just say it how it is, okay? life expectancies in the United States continues to go up and up and up, right? So uh, Social Security has been around for almost 90 years, about 88 years or so, okay? Well, how much were or how long were life expectancies, say, I don't know, 20, 30, 50, 60 years ago? Not nearly what they are today, right? Life expectancies right now are about 83 to 86 years old for men and women, okay? That's way far a uh, uh, higher than what it was, say, 30, 50 years ago, right? Life expectancies have gone up significantly, okay? So as a result of that, I do think that they will raise the full retirement age. However, what about for those of you, again, who are aged about 64 um, and over, okay? So if you were born in about 1960 or earlier, what does this mean for you and your month of benefit? Here's the best thing about it. Uh, sorry, the best thing about it. 
you're pretty much grandfathered in. In other words, you've got nothing to worry about, okay? Your benefits will not be impacted whatsoever if they raise the full retirement age, okay? So if you were born in 1960 or before, You've got nothing to worry about here, okay? When it comes down to this, who is this going to impact? It's mostly going to impact those people that were born usually generally around 1970 or later. Those are the people that are mostly going to be impacted by this in a major way. Now, people that are born in, say, 61, 62, 63, yes, they may be impacted a little bit, but it's mostly the people born in 1970 or after, like me, I was born after that, okay? So it's mostly going to impact... Uh, yours truly, me, okay, <laughs> and everybody else around my age, okay, it's mostly the millennial population that's mostly going to be impacted the most by these changes, so that's who it's mostly going to impact, so I've seen a lot of concerns down below in the comment section from those of you here in the community reaching out saying, again, I'm 62, I'm 64, I'm 68, I'm 66, you know, whatever it happens to be, I'm 73, what about me and my monthly benefit? According to all these numbers and everything we're looking at here, if you're basically, you know, around that early-ish 60s range, you're pretty much good here, okay? That's what it comes down to. Another thing too as well, they've also indicated that, th that this would not impact current beneficiaries whatsoever, okay? So reinforcing this idea that no, it would not have any impact to current beneficiaries uh, receiving retirement benefits or basically anybody around that 1960 born a year or earlier. Does that kind of make sense? So for those of you that have been concerned about this and worried, you got really nothing to worry about here when it comes down to this. However, I do have to say this much as well really quickly. In the event that they do nothing to reform Social Security and we see benefit cuts across the board in about nine years or so at a pace of about anywhere between 20 and 25 percent, guess what? That will impact you. Yes, 100 percent. You see how this goes here? It's a double standard, right? So if they raise the full retirement age and they reform Social Security, it will not impact you. But if they uh, if they cut benefits because the Social Security trust fund is out of money, guess what? Now it's going to impact you by a pace of about 20 to 25 percent. So that's how it works. So you want, you definitely want them to reform Social Security in a major way, because in one case, it will impact you, and in another case, it won't impact you whatsoever. Does that kind of make sense? So again, I know there's a lot of beneficiaries here in the community that receive benefits at varying ages. Again, SSDI and SSI and spousal beneficiaries and retirees and survivors beneficiaries. But this is what we know as of right now, okay? Now, again, I want to point it out really fast here. They've done nothing. They've done absolutely nothing yet to reform Social Security. They're all talking, okay? They're just just talking, okay? <laughs> they can sit around and talk all they want, but we know that something likely will be coming at some point. When? We don't know. That's the problem, is we don't know when this could potentially happen. It could happen this year. It could happen next year. It could happen in five or seven years. We don't know. That's the situation, okay? Anyway, does that help you out a little bit to understand what's going on? And does it offer maybe a little bit of relief to know that, hey, if you're in that age range that I shared there, and uh, your 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 birth year is you know basically 1960 or before you're good. You got essentially nothing to worry about unless they do nothing. Then we have to worry about benefit cuts. That's the other problem. Okay. Anyway, I'm gonna leave it at that for now. I could literally sit here and uh, ramble on about this for probably I don't know an hour because there's a lot of different things to talk about. But I'm gonna leave it at that for now. I can also follow up in a separate video if you'd like me to. Otherwise, make sure to subscribe down below if you haven't done so. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. Also, feel free to share the video. Again, the share button right down below the video next to the subscribe button. And also go back and check out any of the other thousands of videos here on the channel, including those down below in the in the description or the top of the comment section there as well, or those that you see on your screen now. Check out those videos. And until next time, enjoy your day. Take care. Have a good one. And I'll catch you again later in the next